G'day, it's me, New Zealander and also comedian Steve Wrigley, and this is 5 Minutes Tonight. The show about a Kiwi living in America that takes pretty much anything going on and talks about it for pretty much 5 minutes. And tonight, we're talking about Americans standing or not standing for their national anthem. A number of athletes have followed the lead of 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who has chosen to sit out the national anthem in order to bring attention to racial inequality. And how did white people respond? So a white guy doesn't like the way a black guy's behaving, and as a result, hangs something from a tree and then sets something on fire. Yikes, dude, we're not doing that anymore. Now how much does the average American really care about standing up every time the anthem is played? I happen to live just down the road from a bunch of average Americans, so it's time for me to head out into public with a copy of the American National Anthem and the Bluetooth speaker I use to renovate my house. doesn't count. He was already standing up. Maybe these Americans need some extra motivation. Thank God for a trip to Walmart and my Kiwi DIY sewing skills! You know, you'd never see this happen in New Zealand. You'd never see an all-black, let's say, protest the New Zealand national anthem for any reason. Why? Because if he protests the New Zealand national anthem, he'd have to sit out the haka by default. And nobody wants to sit out the haka, because the haka is awesome. <laughs> boy wants to do the hacker. The guy with the halftime oranges wants to do the hacker. The coach wants to do the hacker. The mad butcher would get in there and do the hacker if he could do the hacker. Why? Because it's fantastic. Whenever our national sports team, the All Blacks, travel around the world, they perform something that is so specific and so significant to our country's rich native history. The hacker. The Maori war dance. And the closest thing America has in the NFL to something that celebrates their rich natural history before a sports game is this. Nothing says celebrating your country's rich cultural history like a bunch of blonde, blue-eyed white people giving you that one. Double yikes, America. I mean, if only the United States had some kind of rich cultural history, like a Native American history, let's say. Uh, that they could tap into before every sports game. And if only that Native American history had some kind of war dance associated with it as well they could celebrate, then maybe, just maybe, I'm being a dick. But did you know that the only representation the Native Americans have in the NFL is the name of one of the sports teams? The Washington Redskins. Redskins is a derogatory term for Native Americans. So the only representation Native Americans have in the NFL is using a derogatory term for them. That would be like us calling the All Blacks the um, New Zealand Brown Horries. It's a bad, bad, bad idea. But I do understand. Watching football together is something Americans love to do. And when a group of black athletes take a knee and draw attention to the fact that this country has a race problem, which it does, and that blood is being spilled in the streets, which it is, it can really ruin a nice Sunday afternoon. Well, that's it for five minutes tonight. I'm New Zealander and also comedian Steve Wrigley, and as always, slip us a like, 
slap on a comment and slap us with a share. We'll see you next time. Good night.